Welcome, stranger. All right, how's it going, people? Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. We have a couple of quick updates. Not the actual game, but I just want to quickly update you. I went to the Nexus last night where I bought a couple of things, mainly for the Nomad. Look at that skin. Fucking Nebula. That's fucking awesome as fuck. I bought that and I also bought the Blood Pack, which is essentially the same as a Midas Touch, except it's just red. So it's not too bad. But I thought I'd buy it for the hell of it. Uh, what else? I don't think there is anything else. I, I I did play a few multiplayer games. Which basically just kill a bunch of aliens. That's essentially what multiplayer is. And I had a lot of fun. It was fucking brilliant. I did unlock a submachine gun which I believe was called the Hurricane. Which is absolutely fucking insane. It's brilliant. If we can get it here then I definitely will do. Because that's actually quite a lot of fun. Left untreated, it so I'm going to have a quick look in this research. Weapons. Do we have a... Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, hurricane. Yeah. What do I need? Oh, I don't have enough. Fuck. Okay. Well, that's a shame. Development. What do we have? Quite a lot, actually. Yeah, I was playing around with this. Keep exiling people. And... It is kind of simple to look at. We're waiting debrief from both of these. Nice. 29,000 experience. 10 mission funds, bronze item loot box, and research data loot box. What do we get for this one? That's 10,000. Alright, what do we have? Wow, we got loads! Okay, bronze item loot box. Woo! Got a shotgun. Bronze credit loot box, so you should get some credits. Get some more credits. Material loot box. Got some iron. And another one. We got soft chitting. Soft chitting. And research data loot box. Milk away research. Oh, that's exactly what I need. How much of that did we get? 30. Oh, that's not going to be enough. Uh, 105. What is it that we needed? I think it was 150, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Okay, so we need another 45 Milky Way research data, so we'll just have to keep scanning stuff. Um, I was looking also at this monitor, which we can't access just yet because we have to talk to somebody. So we are going to be going to the Nexus. Uh, where is journal? Is it priority? Yes, this this thing. The AVP Cryo Development Perks, which I haven't actually done yet. I need to speak to Addison. And it, essentially, we can choose who we're going to wake up from cryostasis. Which is a very important part of the game. So, immediately, we're going to be doing that. So, I will... There we go. Mark that. Oh, I think we should already be here. Yes, we are. Alright, Galaxy Map. <clears throat> okay, so stuff that we've got on the Nexus already is waking up to the future, which I believe we're going to, which is part of the AVP thing. Uh, a better beginning, getting to know the Nexus and the path of a hero. So we'll quickly run around, do as much as that as we can. And see where that gets us. I'm fucking loving this game, man. I really am. It's fucking brilliant. I'm going to be doing as much on this game as I possibly can. I've got some new headphones as well. Which uh, are not really ideal for recording since the whole shape of them. And they're quite fucking loose as well. It wouldn't be a problem if I could hear out of both of my ears, but obviously with one bug syndrome I've got one ear that's just completely down, so I've got to try to do a weird balancing act on my one ear that is good. 
so the headphone is sort of half on the ear and half off so I can still hear the game clearly but also hear myself talking you know so I'm not all muffled to myself as it were I've sort of got it right now but it's still a bit wonky actually hang on a minute there was someone we needed to speak to I believe actually it might be upstairs yes there is tech lab get to know the nexus speak to the scientists okay let's do that first quickly Okay, let's see. In here, I believe. There we go, tech lab. Sub scientists. Professor Herrick. Why is the research center? Why can't I speak to you? There you go. Ah, Pathfinder. The information you gathered is marvelous. You and your Sam, of course. Thanks, Mr. Professor Herrick. My colleagues and I work directly with Sam, refining your field scans into discoveries to benefit the initiative. Hopefully. Ah, oh, sweet. Uh, can I join in? I'm usually out in the field, but I wouldn't mind talking shop. Or lab. You know. You are always welcome. Indeed. It's thanks to your sterling data gathering that we were able to wrangle this space from Addison. Keep up the good work, champ. Oh, I'm a champ. Oh, I leveled up. Yeah. Dr. Aridiana. Man, I fucking butchered that. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I had a plan for this yesterday. As you can see at the bottom, I've got Overload as a new skill now. As I think I'm definitely going to need that. I can't remember. That's direct damage. Oh yes, uh, if I can find it, profiles, there we go, I changed from Vanguard to Explorer, mainly because in Vanguard it's all about melee, effectively, and Explorer you get some weapon damage and tech damage, that sort of stuff, and in order to rank it up to level 2, I need 8 skill points each invested in combat tech and biotics. Now I think I've got it in combat, effectively, I think I've got 9 in that. I haven't got much in biotics and I've practically got nothing in tech. Our oh, three points invested in skills, 14 invested in combat. I've got three invested in biotics and two in uh, tech. So I'm using overload, so I'm going to be ranking that up. Reach out speed and all, all damage. Requirements rank two are. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to. Pop that in there. Assault turret. Deploys an automated assault turret that counts as a tech construct. Directs a turret to attack a particular target. Hold detonates a turret damaging nearby enemies. Wow. Uh, pretty much everything else I'm going to be plowing into this hopefully. No. Oh, I can only go that far. Requirements rank 1. Oh that'll be this one. Okay. Boom. Okay, confirm that. Oh, new profiles unlocked. Infiltrator. Can't put any into charge. But I can put stuff in offensive. Biotic power damage. Let's put it in there. So I've got four in biotics now. Five in tech. So I'm very almost there. Sweet. And all of these guys can level up. I'm actually just going to auto level up all of these guys. This is going to take too long otherwise. And Liam, last one. Sweet. Okay, so that's that done. Spoke to the scientists. That's simply a research lab now. And there's a little quest over here. Is it this guy? 
It's this guy. This power outages make no sense. That's what, there you go. What's the trouble? I've got power shortages throughout the station. I can't for the life of me find the cause. Oh, whoa, you you're the pathfinder. Hey, sorry, please ignore me. You've got way more important things to do. True. <laughs> no, I'm happy to help. Power to the Nexus is pretty important. I'm happy to help. That that's great. Because I'm at a loss. There are obvious short circuits cropping up all over the place. A pathfinder's eye might reveal something. There's a power short here. We could scan the area. Scan. Let's scan everything. I'm a scan your. How was that? I just had a vibration. Let's mark this on the journal. No, journal. Uh, additional tasks. Broken wires. Okay. Oh, there we go. Over here. I'm Jan Garson, founder of the initiative. On behalf of the Nexus, I welcome you. Welcome to the culture of the James Center. Have a look around. Please oh. have a look around. Scan. We're just assess the nature of the left. damage. We hope you'll enjoy learning about the rich diversity of people who have arrived from the Milky Way. And again over here. Well, that's in the science lab. Tech lab, rather. We can start building a bag of tax riders. In operations. So I need to go to operations. That's downstairs. Down the floor. Here we go. Operations. No. Sign of civility and the opposite of civility as more sleepers wake in need of this is HNS. Right over there and just there. I'm taking it this is the guy I have to talk to. Nope. An animal did this? Affirmative. I am able to track it. You're able to track it? How? Addison's office. Okay, we must have just talked to Addison now. Oh, hey, Jack. How many times have I told you this story? 343. Wait, what? You be Creature. I believe you found the culprit responsible for the power shortages. That's not funny. Capture it. Alert Professor Herrick to come secure it. Yeah. All power grid adjustments must be approved beforehand. Hey, Kesh. It said Addison's office where. Oh, this is Addison's office. Okay, so she should be up here. Oh. Uh, that's you, isn't it? Yes. Hey, Addison. You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. Uh, tell me about it. Sam said there was new functionality to discuss. It's how the initiative was designed to support the Pathfinder. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more focus on research, like on Prodromos? That's your call. Brecker will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Hey, Brecker. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Brecker, C63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. <laughs> You're kidding? Yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and the Nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? 
Um, okay, you tell me about the points. What's the rundown on AVP? Much of the preparation in the Milky Way was determining how to measure success. Thresholds are about capacity, but this is about cost, what we can actually afford to support. Points aren't the most elegant system, but it makes it clear. The more you earn, the more we can deploy. Okay, that's fair enough. Waking blocks of people. So I decide what groups to wake up. Won't everyone be out eventually? Absolutely. But there's an order to things. A lines of support. You can't deploy an omelette without first deploying eggs. Oh, Jesus. And eggs won't get you steak. Except it's people and how all our lives begin. Nexus thresholds. How are you measuring thresholds? It's based on resource estimates and the general stability. A metric of acceptable scope and risk. The more you achieve, the greater capacity we can accommodate, the more the initiative can do for you. Simplest explanation? The more you do, the more room we have to grow. Okie dokie, what's first? Alright, Brecca. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure. Okay, and that'll be on the ship, I believe. And also here. Okay, so we have science pods, military and commerce. Selected for the years of field experience and ingenuity under pressure, these scientists' expertise can quickly improve the initiative's research and resource gathering capabilities. Military, military veterans from across the Milky Way have brought their expertise to Andromeda including advanced combat training and wilderness survival skills and commerce. Trade is the lifeblood of civilization. These talented merchants and entrepreneurs can use their connections to acquire rare items, grow financial investments, or improve inventory management. Ooh, okay, so commerce we get more in invent, effectively. Science, I believe, gives us uh, the more research and resources that we can get. And that's all about combat. Fuck, uh. Zero of 17 perks available. Does it tell us what we can get? Time best reward. Earn research points at regular intervals. Oh, okay. Uh, receive a selection of minerals at reg regular intervals. For the military, we have munitions. Receive a drop of consumable su supplies at regular intervals. Uh, receive organic materials. Tech materials. Reveal hidden caches around established forward stations. Ooh. Apex tactics. Earn 15% more credits for Apex missions. Commerce, what we have. Earn credits from investments at regular intervals. So, okay, we get paid regularly. Improve prices when buying and selling. Increase inv inventory capacity. Well, considering we're still very, very early game. I would like to, uh, man, the research points is, research points is good, but we get that from scanning, but I am very, very low on actual, like, materials to fucking make stuff, so I'm going to do mining operations. Okay. Uh, let's see. Collect all rewards. Oh, so it's every, okay. Every 45 minutes. So where are the points at? Does it say how many points I can... Oh, there you go. Zero cryopod points available. Okay, so we unlock one. Boom. It's got beryllium, fluorite, and silicon. Uh, press Y to access the viability screen. Ooh. Okay, so it EOS is seventy six percent already. Next level AVP in three hundred and ninety eight. Okay, so I guess we get a point for every time the Nexus levels okay, that makes sense. While AVP and Nexus level represent your overall progress in making Helios a home, certain individual planets also have their own viability rating. When you earn AVP on a potential colony world, viability rating of that planet will increase up to a maximum of hundred percent. 
Most wells allow you to establish an outpost once you reach 40% vi viability, though additional actions may be necessary. Additional, additionally, special cryopods may become available based on the viability of specific worlds. Sweet, okay, so we I know we still have quite a bit to do on EOS. Uh, if I look for it, Helios Assignments, EOS, Shock Treatment, so, inv oh yes, the crew of the Prodomus has a dangerous plan to try and control a remnant, catch up to the work crew at the monolith, and defeating the Ket, that, uh, that Ket base that we discovered shortly before we died because of all the radiation. We've got to try to clear that out. So those two we, we have to do. I still have no idea how we're supposed to survive in the areas that have massive uh, radiation. Speak with Addison's assistant on the Nexus. A Turian still in cryo are asking that she be allowed to join him instead of waiting for a future cryo block development. Podomos is getting the experts it needs, but morale contrib contributes as much to vital viability as resources. Find and scan colonist bodies. Ooh. I believe really we just have to talk to this bloke again, don't we? Yes, we do. Pathfinder, AVP leveling continues as per your directions. And of course, the interface remains accessible for any future adjustments. Sweet protocol and the process. Now we're living. Uh, right. Getting everyone out of cryo. I have a specific person I want brought out of cryo. Oh, there you go. Name and designation if available. That's it? You'll just do it? Nowhere in my job description does it say, argue with the Pathfinder. That said, I record all interactions. If something you ask for causes trouble, there'll be no doubt that you're responsible. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. I want Let's that guy. Let's keep this between us. Here's the info. Deployment will begin shortly. Is there anything else, Pathfinder? Uh, no, that's it, actually. Another time. Pathfinder. Sweet. 